Okay, this video is for players only. DMs, flip to page, uh, I don't know, 97 of the Monster Manual for a few moments. Okay, players, Game Masters here, and fighting a dragon in Dungeons & Dragons is a situation that most of you will ultimately end up facing at some point. Your Dungeon Master is likely to pull out every trick in the book because dragons are supposed to be nasty, but I'm going to give you six tips on surviving an encounter with a dragon, and using these tactics may even let you defeat one. Use cover. Chances are you'll encounter a dragon in its lair, or this even works if you're out doors, and you'll want to use the terrain inside to your advantage. Find boulders, tunnels, or, or other structures to hide behind in order to avoid the dragon's breath weapon. While you may still take some damage, at least with cover you'll be able to mitigate some of that damage. What type? Obviously, different dragons can use different types of breath weapons. We just mentioned that cover might help you mitigate the damage, but not all breath weapons are the same. Uh, take some downtime and allow someone in the party to research dragons and the different breath weapons that each one has. You'll need to know how to deal with uh, fire, poison, cold blasts, all, all of the nasty breaths that dragons can throw at you. This in turn will allow you to exploit weaknesses. This one is a little tricky. In the 3.5 edition of D&D, dragons that had an immunity type had the opposite in vulnerability. For example, dragons are immune to fire. They'd be vulnerable to cold-based attacks. However, in 5th edition, that specific rule no longer exists. Regardless, determining the dragon's weakness can give you an edge. Perhaps it is hungry for wealth or, or gold, and you can easily use that to your advantage. Use spells. Don't forget that while you have access to spells that can cause damage, you also have access to spells that can add extra buffs to your party members. That Bark Skin or Shield of Faith can be the difference between an attack causing one more point of damage or having the attack uh, miss completely. Likewise, Earthbind, a relatively low-level transmutation spell, can effectively keep a dragon from taking to the skies for an aerial attack. Use ranged attacks. In the event that your battle against the dragon isn't in its lair and the dragon does take to the skies and your earthbound spell doesn't work, you're going to need some good coordinated ranged attacks. Bolts and Ballastae are always a good choice, but they're not exactly something that you can, you know, kind of whip out of your back pocket. You can't even pull them out of your bag of holding, but Melf's Acid Arrow, uh, Lightning Bolt, or even just regular arrows or heavy bolts can whittle down a dragon's hit points. But once you hit it, please be aware, as it will know where that hit came from. Taking advantage of our first tip by uh, use cover will come into play again here. This also leads to don't group up. If the dragon is intent on opening its maw and roasting you or, or blasting you with a cloud of poison, well, this is an instance where you don't want all of your eggs in one basket. You'll want to spread out. In the event that the breath weapon does hit full force and a player is taken out, by being spread out, it is less likely that everyone will perish. Obviously, grabbing magical items and weapons can give you an advantage, but if you don't have the gold to buy them or, or haven't found any in a dungeon delve because, you know, the, the dragon that you're fighting has them all in its lair, then using the tactics that we just talked about will certainly give you an edge over your fight against a dragon. Just keep in mind that a fighting against a dragon is going to be hard. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be a challenge. If you'd like a list of magic items that could potentially give you an edge over defeating a dragon in battle, be sure to check out this video that covers over 150 new magic items, from magical armor to potions and, and everything in between. And let me know down in the comments what other tactics you've had success with when fighting against a dragon. And until next our paths cross, may the dragon you're facing, well, may it at least have, have taken a breath mint.